Yeah, no, I just turned around. <laughs> <laughs> I must have been waiting for people. Start that? Yeah. Start that? Yeah. 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 Much. All right. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um, yeah, I don't have a gavel, sorry. <laughs> uh, it's great to see a bunch of new faces, uh, old faces and everything. We haven't done this in about three years because of the pandemic, so we wanted to get back into meeting as a club. Um, we meet often as a board, but we don't get to get everything out there to everybody, so we wanted to try and do this all at once. Um, so welcome. There are snacks and some drinks in the back. Help yourself. And Peggy's going to greet us. Do our greeting. So, well, first, hi, everybody. Uh, I'm Peggy Giordano. I am the uh, treasurer of uh, the Badgers, Wayntown Badgers. Um, Jim Spindler. Cheryl, on the board. he's on the board. <laughs> Gerald on the board. I'm Luke Gazing. He's the president, everybody. Everybody knows Luke. So, <laughs> this is the rest of the faces. Yeah. These are the rest of the faces. Um, and Emmeline's not here. Yeah, she's, Emma, yeah. she's on the board also. Emmeline yeah. Renshaw. She's not so nice. Um, she's just, not so nice. We've been together since 2013. We started out in Dan, Dan Seafring's basement. <laughs> I think there was about, what, 12 of us maybe? Something like that. Yeah, yeah for the first year we had maybe up to 20 some members, and now we're right under 200 for this year. Uh, I think our best year was about 225 or something like yeah, that. Yeah, we're usually around 200. Yeah, 200. Um, we, collectively, I'm speaking for the board, we do this out of passion for the sport and our fellow Badgers and the triathlon community. Uh, community. Um, we just, we love it, and we love helping you guys out, and we love having these events and everything else like that, so we really appreciate your support and showing up today. Uh, so we're just going to go along with the agenda. Anybody there's agendas on the tables in front of you? So our mission statement is, we are a triathlon club that welcomes all athletes of all abilities. We support multi-sport participation and healthy lifestyles while celebrating achievements and fostering fellowship and camaraderie. We promote safety and sportsmanship among all our members. We support our fellow athletes, our sport, and our community by giving back and volunteering. Um, a few years ago, we became an official 501c3 nonprofit. Um, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit uh, to something that's further on in the in the, in the agenda. Uh, I am proud. I went through all the numbers yesterday. I am so proud to announce that our club, since 2018, with two years of pandemics that in there, we have donated over $25,000 to. Uh, um, volunteering we have um, a lot of people here are, are super volunteers I, I could say they help us out every time every chance they get so thank you all for letting us do that it means a lot to me um, and again as a nonprofit and as what we like to give back to the community and everything else like that our membership dues are low $25 I think for your $25 a year you get a heck of a lot for that <laughs> so uh, we don't give away like shirts and everything else like that, but we do have a lot of other things that we do uh, with the training and the swims and all the other parties and stuff that we have. Um, we do have a website, badgerstry.com. If there's anybody out there that knows a website designer that could help us update, Cheryl, I'll move to see you later. We really need to update and get our, our website um, refreshed. Uh, I'd like to thank our Sponsors, uh, Sandy Cannon, who's a member, uh, is an awesome sponsor. She owns Geek's Diner and Bar, uh, running company of South Jersey. Dave and his gang always help us out. Um, I know a lot of you um, uh, shop at their stores, so keep on shopping there. Uh, Pro Pedals Bike Shop, they've been a longtime supporter. They help us out at our races when they can down in Hamilton. Uh, John, Jean, and Jason are, are a great bunch of people. Uh, Dr. Virtio, she's a local chiropractor. If anybody looking for a chiropractor, I highly, highly, highly recommend her. And uh, we have Shell and Marfa Gizzi, uh from Hughes Shop, Hughes Clock Shop, sorry, um, that are also great people, great sponsors, and great volunteers, uh, and pretty good racers also. Um, we have our club communications, our Facebook play page, and. Um, for non-members or people just interested in sport triathlon, we have the Williamstown, New Jersey Swim, Bike, and Run Facebook group. Um, and then Cheryl's in charge of all those wonderful emails you get. She does a great job, I think, in getting them out and all the information on them. So thank you, Cheryl. And just, just to clarify on the, the, webs, or the Facebook pages, there are two Facebook pages. Some people join the Williamstown Swim, Bike, Run one and think they're in the Badgers. The Badgers one is secret. It's 
to call it a secret group, we don't call it that. But um, just for like things that we put out for the club. So once you join as a member, if you're on Facebook, you get added to that group. Um, and also Cheryl sends out emails to follow up with what's on the Facebook group. Too. Oh, and I apologize. I skipped over real quick, welcoming our new members. Anybody very new to member of Badgers or have not joined the Badgers yet in the club here? Oh, okay, great. Uh, if you don't mind, tell me your name so I can get faces with the names. Uh, Paul Cleary. Hi, Paul. Great. Welcome to the club. Linda Hubs. Thank you, Linda. Who else was new? Um, hi. Linda Davis. Hi, Linda. Nice to meet you. Hey, Anybody else? Uh, Linda. Linda Bow. I joined in October. Oh, very nice to meet you. Well, thank you. Welcome to the club, and I, I hope you enjoy uh, what we have to offer. And we're always, always looking for new input, suggestions, and everything else like that. So, yes. I'm oh, sorry. Who did I miss? I haven't enjoyed yet, but my name's Ben Stegman. You will join after. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. Lock the door, John. <laughs> <laughs> and I also like to think of the Badgers as an extended family. I've met so many amazing people that I consider just lifelong friends. So it's, it's a, it's, I think you'll enjoy our club. Um, okay, so where are we back? Okay, so we did that. Anything else? Um, clubs here. Um, and posted on the Facebook page. I don't know if anybody saw, saw yet. If not, I have it on my phone here. What are new? We did a new design this year, and I really like it. Um, mm -hmm. Had a couple of little designs the past couple of years that maybe weren't as popular, but I think this one's going to be a great one. Uh, we should be having a thick kit come out soon, and we'll have notices um, notice of when we'll have that for people to try on. Um, I was pushing to get it by Riverwinds, but yeah. And just just so you know, we'll, we'll get a thick kit, we'll, which it won't be that gear, but it'll be the same brand and, and sizes. So it'll have all different sizes. You can come try it on. We'll set up either at somebody's house or, or at a meeting or something where you can come try it on. Make sure you get the right sizes so when you order, you get the right sizes. So we'll have the fit kit usually a week or two, and then we'll open the store for a week or two, and then it'll go into production at that point. And just for those new to buying triathlon here, it tends to run very, very small. <laughs> That's just my personal opinion. I don't know. It's supposed to be small. No, it's supposed to be tight. It's supposed to be tight, but I think it runs smaller than the yeah, normal. Yeah, sometimes it does. Yeah. So that's why we get the fit kit, so you can, right. you know, get surprised because they're not cheap. I, I, we know that. But this is mostly our like tri suits or tri kits, um, running singlets, things like that that we would use mostly for run racing. So. Okay, so um, we have training that's um, time sensitive, just. To certain times of the year, like open water swims. We really can't do it this time of the year. Um, so we uh, have Bells Lake, which there's a schedule here when our swims are already set up for it. Uh, we also have our uh, swims at Autumn Lake, which we are very fortunate to have. It's the most beautiful lake, I think, in South Jersey to swim in. Um, so the schedule's on there. Um, track workouts. Uh, Randy? Starts May 3rd and 23rd. Great. 10 weeks from Tuesday. Randy has an amazing uh, track workout in Pittman High School. Correct. Track, right? Um, a lot of people have uh, learned quite a bit and have really uh, improved their running through Randy. So we That's thank him for faster. that. Thank you, Randy. And he does all volunteer too. So it takes a lot of his time and we appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, within a few weeks, we'll be starting the bricks back up at Lou and Denise's house. Um, it's a real simple out, simple hour workout, 45-minute uh, bike ride, um, 22, minute, 22 and a half minutes out, 22 and a half minutes back, and then a 15-minute run. So sometimes people do extended things, but that's you know fun. Everybody else will be. It's a, it's a great quick workout, and um, it does help. Um, and then on our Facebook page, you're always seeing people post, "Hey, I'm going out for a run today. Anybody want to join me? Hey, I'm doing a 50-mile bike ride on Saturday." You know, just speed, who wants to meet up? And uh, so always keep your eye out for that for different uh, training groups. And then um, we'll get more so back into this year. Every year uh, we do a uh, Memorial Day ride that the um, Amy and Dave Fisher have been hosting for quite a few years. And it's a great, great ride. Uh, we leave their house, we, uh, a nice slow group ride. We stop by the veterans. Um, Cemetery right on Tuckahoe Road. Pay our respects to all those who have served us, 
and then we have a wonderful brunch uh, after at Dave and um, at Amy's house. So thank you, Amy. I know you're here somewhere. I saw you. Oh, she left. Oh, she left. Yeah, she left. She's out here. All right. Well, then she was here. I did see her. So. She said she apologizes for having to leave. Oh, okay. All right, so as I spoke of before, open water swims are listed on the second page um, for a pretzel, <laughs> of the uh, no. agenda here. Uh, each swim costs a member five, and you have to be a member to join our uh, to participate in our swims because of uh, insurance purposes. Um, uh, if you have a child who's interested in triathlon, um, we call them our Badger Cubs. They are free. They have a free membership, but you do still have to sign them up on the website. Um, Again, for insurance purposes, and uh, we are trying to um, extend our child program this year. We really want to get kids involved in the sport. Uh, we'll, and we'll have uh, Lori, she, where's she at? We're here. Oh, there she is. Maybe she'll talk about that a little bit later on. But we're, maybe? Okay. Yeah. We'll think, okay. And just so you know, we, we are a USAT, USA Triathlon Club for people that are new or, or aren't familiar. So that when we join USAT as a club, we get insurance for our events that we host. Um, the races are different, that's sanctioned through USAT, so that's a separate entity or part of USAT that does that, but as the club, we are um, insured. Um, I don't think I need to go through all the races. Do we want to go through all of them or, or just um, highlight them? Yeah, yeah. It's just one okay, you, got, you do that though then. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like, Peggy mentioned we have our swims there. The, the Autumn Lake swims we call dip and sips, just so you know. So it's usually a Friday night, 5 to 7. We'll swim from 5 to 7. You can swim as long as you want. And then we go drink wine. And sometimes we order food. <laughs> There's usually a, a food truck there or we order in food and we can get it delivered. So they're fun times. We just hang out and keep drinking. Um, so for our races, um, hopefully everybody's familiar. We have races. Um, we, we have two Facebook groups, right, or pages. Um, we have others, but we're consolidating the two. One is Badgers Racing is our main Facebook group for um, all our races, all our multi-sport and running races. Badger Palooza has its own uh, Facebook group or page because that's the ultra world is kind of a different animal and different people like that. So we don't want to inundate ultra runners with triathlon and, and 5K things that they might not be interested. So that's why we have two. Um, so our races start on New Year's Day. We had our first New Year's Day race, um, or not our first, but um, our first race of the year was on New Year's Day. Our charity partner for that was Viola's Closet, who's a local um, charity that supports uh, women, abused women, and women that need help with whatever they need. So they're right here in Williamstown. We're happy to support them. Um, for River Winds, that's our first try of the year. That's coming up April 30th. Uh, the, the Saturday before, we have packet pickup Saturday afternoon, and then right after that, we have a free kids race. So it's it's just real simple. It's it's not time. It's just kids come. You know, we give them an out and back course, um, just to get kids out. Um, the, the parents loved it last year. That that did it. I'm going to have a ton, but we do have a separate um, sign up for that race for kids free fun run. It's no cost, obviously, but it was getting confused with the triathlon because that's the day before and run sign up was recognizing the race as two days and it got real confusing so we set it up as a separate um event and run sign up so if you know any kids we do ask that you put them on there and sign them up just again so the insurance is there and just so we know how what how many kids to expect um our riverwinds triathlon and if you're not familiar with it it's at riverwinds community center west effort it's a pool swim 200 meters or 200 yards um a 10 mile bike and a 5k um, we, we made some, we took over the race last year, we made some changes and, and for the most part everybody seemed to enjoy the changes that we made, made tried to make the bike course a little safer, um, the, all the intersections are covered by police and we go across the intersections twice so the police are there the whole time, it's not a loop like it used to be. So some changes there we liked. Um, all of our, well, well Riverwinds and Autumn Lake both have 5k options if you just want to run a 5k so we have those available for people that are you know, just interested in running. We have relay team options where somebody can run or swim, somebody can bike, somebody can run. So we have a lot of options at, at all the events. Uh, this year for Riverwinds, which we did last year too, we're supporting the West Effort Police PAL program. They were thrilled with our support last year. I think we were able to donate at least two thousand dollars. Three thousand. Three thousand. So that goes a long way for them to support the kids to come out and, and do those programs. 
Um, and all the websites are after each of the races. Um, the memorial is a new, well, it's, it's our third year of that. It'll be a third year, yeah. Um, this is one that came up because Emmeline, who's not here, her mom was in our club. Um, she, she's British, so we call it, everybody called her mom, so that's why it's memorial. Um, so she passed away three years ago, and uh, we wanted to do something to memorialize her. So we created this race. It's a swim and run. Um, there's an Olympic and sprint distance, and it's at Autumn Lake, and it's um, all the proceeds from that go towards the, a scholarship named in Kathy Moeller's um, name, who is mom. That's um, Em's mom. Yeah. So we were able to... Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Be the first year we were able to give a $500 scholarship to a local, up to a Williamstown High School a senior. Um, it's a it's photography, uh, photography essay, I guess you would call it, a photo essay. Um, and we picked a winner. This year we were able to up the... Um, Scholarship to seven hundred fifty dollars plus a hundred dollar um, honorable mention award. So, through everybody your support, so we thank you for that. We like to keep that going on and on through the next few years. And that's something like at the senior awards banquet night at mm -hmm. the school. That's where we um, announce it. And it, it's a photography ad because mom was an uh, avid photographer, so we wanted to keep that going. Um, this year, it's actually got a topic of sports related yeah. somehow. Last year it was just open to any picture and, and you know anything. And I don't know if, if anybody was raced last year, the picture that was on the medal was the winner of the, ra of the, the scholarship. So we're trying to do something like that where we're promoting the people that did it too. Um, and then we have our Autumn Lake Triathlon, which was our first triathlon that we ever did. Um, we're into our seven, six, six or seventh year well, with COVID. With COVID knows. Um, but again, that's, you know, got multiple options, duathlon, aqua bike relay, and a 5K. That one this year, our, our charity is supporting the police unity tour for Monroe Township Police Department. Um, that's uh, an event where they, where, from all over the country, I think, they, they ride their bikes to D.C. to the um, police memorial down there for fallen um, police officers. So we were supporting their efforts there. And they also have other charities that they support in the community, too. Um, and then Badger Palooza, the, we started that last year. That's a little crazy one. Um, it's an ultra marathon where you do a 5K every hour for 24 hours. So it's, it's a little out there. Um, but we, there's also six hour and 12 hour options and two person relay teams. So that turned out to be a good, big success last year. It was, a, it was a lot of work, a lot of time on our feet, but uh, it turned out great. Um, we were real happy with that turnout, so that's available too. Now that's the only one that's not on run sign up, it's on ultra sign up, which is, we were told ultra people said, it's not on there, it's not real, so that's where it is. <laughs> um, and then Thanksgiving, we have our turkey trot, which is on Thanksgiving morning at 9 a.m. Um, typically, the, this is at Autumn Lake Winery also. We have a good relationship with them, so we do a lot of events there. Um, this year they opened up that day for bottle sales so you can bring wine to your um, Thanksgiving dinner. And our charity there is um, Operation Safe Haven, which is a local uh, organization in Franklinville that supports veterans. Um, they provide housing for veterans. On, they have tiny houses on their property. They give them therapy. Everything's free to the veterans. So it's, it's a thing, it's a place where they can go get their stuff in order and then move on to, you know, get a job and get housing and things like that when they need help. So we're happy to support them. Um, and as you probably noticed, the portion of profits from every race go to a charity. Um, we are a charity and we support charities. Um, for our hangover run and turkey track, all the profits go to a charity that we support that year. Um, and like Peggy said, we've donated over 25,000. Um, and sponsors, if, if anybody's here that wants a sponsor or knows somebody that might want to sponsor a race, we work, want to work with you know, local community businesses if we can to help promote them and also to help us promote what we do and also support the um, charities that we support. So, and just so you know, like I said, we a charity, a portion of all the profits go to charity. The rest of the profit goes back to the race. Um, we're buying a lot of things this year to improve Riverwinds because that was our first year last year. So, new signage and new things that we can um, make it safer and make it clearer to people where things are. And just things that we have that need to be replenished. You know, stuff wears out and we need to buy stuff. So it all goes back into the race. If you saw from 
Autumn Lake's first race to last year, there's a big difference. <laughs> so, I mean, the first year we were pounding stakes and putting, you know, fence up. Now we rent barricades. So, Gene, there's the improvements. That one, you yeah. those posts yet? <laughs> Trying to get the posts out is really tough. So, there's some of the things that it makes it easier on us, but it also makes it a more professional race. And that's our goal, to make our small town races look like an iron, like a big production race. And I think we're doing that. Um, the next thing we have is volunteering. Um, like we, Peggy mentioned in our mission statement, is giving back, volunteering, whether it's for us, for other races. Um, we work with a lot of other race companies around the area um, that also need, you know, every race needs volunteers. It can't be done without, you just can't staff everything you need. It's like a, a 300 person race might need 50 or 75 volunteers just to make it safe on the roads and to hand out medals and to hand out water and food and um, things like that. And like, just bringing up Badger Palooza, that we needed help all night to make food and, and keep things you know fresh and hot and warm and just, it, it was a lot. So, but we had people there and it was awesome. It, it, volunteers are amazing. So please look to give back. All our races, if you look at any of the websites, they all have a link for volunteers. You can click there and pick a spot where you want to volunteer. Um, if not, reach out to one of us and, and we'll definitely put you in there. Um, another event we started doing last year, uh, I don't know if anybody's familiar with Bruckner Chase. He um, is a, a world-class swimmer and uh, does a lot of paddle boarding events. And he has a program where he helps spinal um, cord injured athletes get out of the water and get the freedom to, to get out of their wheelchairs and things like that. So they go out, we're, we're, we've partnered with Autumn Lake again last year and started doing that where they can come and paddle. It's like a two hour, um, hour and a half or two hour event. So these are the dates there. If anybody's interested in volunteering for that, let us know. Roberta's shaking her head because she was there. And, and you really, you can't help get emotional when people are out there and they are Combine them with wheelchair all their lives, and then they get on the water, and they're so free they can just go wherever they want. So it, it's a very rewarding um, effort. So if you're ever interested in that, there's their dates. Uh, we can always use help. Um, another charity that we've supported over the years is Honor Flight New Jersey, which is that's an a, a agency that brings veterans from the New Jersey area to D.C. to their war memorials, like if it's veteran uh, Vietnam. Korea, whatever, the different uh, wars that they were in, they bring them to those memorials. So they start off the day at Williamstown High School with a, a big breakfast. They get a nice send off. They have buses, they take them down. They go see their memorials and everything. And then they come back to hopefully a, a big reception and then they go into a, a catered dinner in the high school. So this year, the, the first, they do it twice a year. The first one is April 20th. And the plan is that they should be coming back around 6 p.m. So they've asked us to, reach out if, if we can get together groups of people, wear your badge of gear, let's cheer them on as they get off the bus so that they know that you know we appreciate what they've done and, and supporting them. So the next trip is in October, and they, they asked me to ask if anybody was interested in, they call them guardians that go down with them. I'm actually doing it this year for the April race, for the April event. Uh, but if anybody's interested in the October event, we can get you the paperwork that would, um, get you on that trip and, and if they need help, do that. Okay, I'm gonna turn it over. Back to me, I guess. Okay. <laughs> so, um, we like to do things to get our families involved in sports. So some people may have spouses that could give two craps about triathlon or you know their kids are young or whatever. We like to do family events. Last year we did a bowling event, which was really, really fun. This year we're, we're hosting a family fun night at the Philadelphia Wings. Uh, it's Sunday, April 2nd at 6 p.m. Tickets are $25 a piece. They're normally about 40 some dollars, so we are getting a discount on that. Um, weather permitting, as long as it's nice weather, I'll, a couple days before, I'll, I'll send something out to uh, whoever bought tickets and we'll pick a parking lot and we'll just, you know, tailgate prior to and have some fun. Um, I can attest, I don't know, I have a lot of fun when we yeah. hang out together, everybody. So, and if anybody's um, not familiar, the Wings is an indoor oh, lacrosse team. Oh, long lacrosse team. No, they, yeah. are, they themselves are a lot of, uh, they're great teams. It's at the uh, Wells Fargo Wells Center. Wells Fargo Center. So we have a, a on run, run sign up, we have a ticket event, again, tickets are $25 a piece. Um, I already had to purchase a ticket, so if anybody wants to go, we really appreciate you buying some. Um, 
Okay, and then we, we're going to try to do another event, maybe an adult event uh, later on in the year. Um, we're throwing a couple things back and forth. Any suggestions, please see me after the meeting, um, and I would love to hear them. Um, so, for well, those who don't know... Do you want to do the, just the other races in the distance first? Oh, okay, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, so the last, second to last bullet there is just other race companies that offer us discounts um, with the discount codes there. So, and a lot of them are either members or, or support our club. So please just look through there. Um, if, if you're gonna sign up for one of those races, use the discount code. If you're signing up for one of our races, you automatically get a discount code because we use one sign up for the club membership. So when you sign up for a race, it knows that you're a member and it gives you 10% off automatically. Um, if you're signing up for Badger Palooza, reach out to us because we do have a discount code. That system's a little different, so it doesn't automatically link, but we we will definitely give you a code. You're going to do it, right? Don't, you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so um, one thing, uh, Peggy mentioned, um, the running company is one of our sponsors for the club. We're working with them right now to come up with hopefully a, a day that we can do an event there. Um, where When we do an event there, they give us 20% off anything in the store. So if we're trying to do it before the season starts. If you need new sneakers, if you need running gear, whatever it is. Um, so we're going to try and do that and also bring out some of the race companies to, you know, promote the races and things like that. So look out, keep on the lookout for a date for that. We're working on that now. Yeah. Yep. Um, before we go a little bit further, does anybody have any questions about the club or anything that we do or... Or don't do. Or don't do or that you would like to see? Come on. <laughs> no. Well, if you do. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Volunteering. Um, for people who want to volunteer, is it always sign up on the race events, or do we have to reach out to somebody? you got new people that are not going out. Uh, and I e know I always ask for Either people. or. We yeah. prefer the, on the sign-up thing, but if you can't, like, so some of our sign-ups, you have to be here for four hours to this, this, this. I understand people can't commit that much time, but they hey, Peg, I have two hours. Can I come help? Absolutely. Yeah, and if you just show up at the race, we'll put you to work. Right. No, right. 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 Uh, yeah. <laughs> we prefer that people sign up so we know where we need to cover, because especially on our triathlons, uh, bike courses are so very, very important to have coverage out there. Um, it's hard to get people. It's hard to get people to do that. It's not, it's, a not, it's not, you know, it's not. It's not, not a sexy I'm, I'm too place old to, for that. Yeah. You can stand there with a flag and just wave people. And then in the sun, and then I get used yeah. to it. I'm old. I we do try to, we try to make it a big point to make sure that our athlete, or our volunteers have water and sunscreen and everything else that they need when they're out there. And we try to rotate people as much as we can. But again, if you can't sign up for a full shift and you have a couple hours a day of an event, Contact one of us. Say, hey, I can come, but this is what I can, I can do, and definitely we'll take the help. So yeah, and, and on on our races on that topic, if you click on like where the race link is, there will be a, don or a volunteer button. Um, and most race companies have the same thing that, that most of them use run sign up, so it's it's usually there. If not, just reach out to the race company if it's not one of our races. I know it's the same thing. It's usually the full race almost, but the volunteer, and so I usually have to the entire. You know, right. Six to noon. Right. I, I can't do the whole, the whole Yes. Thing. It's too long. Right. So whatever you can do, we appreciate it. You're not. If you sign up for that spot too, if you want to do that, but you can only do three hours, you can still sign up for it. And on the side, make sure you contact somebody. Say, hey, I'm only going to be there from this time to this time, and then we can use you, you know, for that. So we do appreciate, and we know it takes a lot, and we we are so thankful for for our volunteers. So, Alberta, get a question. Not just a swim event. Which one? Just a swim just event. Just a swim event. She wants to swim race, but she just. Totally. There's not very many around. There's the one that I won. Yeah. <laughs> I, I you just want to win more, is that? <laughs> just want to win more. <laughs> um, they used to have. They had the one in Wildwood, but now they discontinued that. Just we'll have to look into that. Like no, that. that's a good idea. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's a lot easier to set up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's an easy setup. Yeah, that's uh, an easy setup. Yeah, it would be easy. Yeah. Blue, they had that thing where you swim. It's like a thing that pops out of the water. And you swim. Yeah, for the timing. Yeah, like yeah. something where you do. Roberta does races everybody. But Luke and just. <laughs> 
just not not to I mean to help some other companies like um, Tim Car Racing, Tim Car Charity. They have free races down the shore at Avalon. So oh, they do. Yeah, they have um, 1.2 mile, um, 5k swims. So I think that, I think the, the, there's two that are under the 5k. Yeah, there's there's three total. There's a yeah. triple crown they call it. Tim Car Tim Car Charity. Like the, the hockey player Tim Curry used to be. Okay. Yeah. Um, Sam, Sam. <laughs> yeah. His wife does all the work. Yeah. <laughs> he just puts his name on it. Yeah. 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 I was just curious, do you have um, like a yeah. sheet for the sponsorships? We do. Like, yeah. I could take it to my brother's company. Yes. I, okay. Um, stop up and send me your, give me your email and okay. I'll send it to you. Right. Thank you. New favorite, new member. <laughs> 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 just kidding. Everybody's our favorite. <laughs> Alright, um, okay. Good. Anybody else? Do you have anything to add? <laughs> Cheryl? Fish. Oh, I'm good. Okay. Okay. So we have some guest speakers that we want to get to, so. Yeah, I just want to introduce, um, real quick, Lori, Lori Beck. Stand up, Lori. Yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. She's small but mighty. Lori Beck is an accomplished triathlete, world, uh, internationally ranked, I guess, for the most part, right? Yep. Um, she is a USAT certified coach in many aspects. She just got certified in para-athletes. Um, she's also a certified nutrition, uh, all-around amazing person. <laughs> and and uh, she is our club coach. We're very, very honored and uh, privileged to have her. Um, Lori, we set up a four-week train or four-session training courses coming up. Um, Saturday, March 25th at St. Matt's Church, which is... About a mile and a half from here, that way, I think. Um, we're charging ten dollars a person for that because we have to rent the lanes. Uh, and I sent out a, I put information on Facebook about details about what the the events are going to be. Uh, Sunday, she's having a run seminar at Washington Lake Park. Uh, Wednesday, April fifth, uh, we're going to be at the Pfeiffer Community Center, which is also here in Williamstown. We have a, a room in there. We're renting out. Uh, Lori's going to go over some nutrition. Um, Race nutrition, which is a huge part of racing. I know a lot of you know that. And then we're going to have guest speaker, uh, Bruckner Chase, who um, Lou mentioned earlier, who does the uh, the paddleboard swims uh, with the spinal cord injury uh, people. He's going to uh, speak also. And then on Wednesday, April 2nd, it's a bike seminar. Okay. I know we have quite a few Ironman accomplished uh, triathletes here. There is always something you can learn. And um, we have in between races, in this between our, our fellow members. Like, uh, I'm going to beat you, Arthur. We've had races where it came down to one second where somebody beat John. somebody. <laughs> and that would be uh, where Lori can help you out. Um, <laughs> Maybe two seconds. Two seconds. <laughs> With transition training. So it's going to be bike handling skills and then transition training, which is, you don't think a transition is important, but it is extremely important in racing. Well, and if also, you're competitive. also on the bike, like everybody yeah. thinks you just ride straight and yeah. keep going. But like, as simple as grabbing your water bottle because if it's a long ride, you need a drink. Yeah. Some people have trouble with that, so Lori will go over that kind of stuff. So I highly suggest all these uh, seminars for all of our athletes, not just new people or beginners, but everybody. Uh, I, I think everybody can always learn something new. Uh, Lori, you have anything you want to say? No. Okay. Well, we're, we're also trying to work on um, starting a kids program, and yes. we're going to get more information out on that soon. And just in general, Lori's usually at our lake swims, whether it's Bell's Lake, Alden Lake. She's always there to help out if you have questions. If you, there's, yeah, there's people that you know don't feel comfortable swimming in open water, and she'll sit there on the edge with you for an hour if you need to. But she'll get you swimming, and she has. She's so amazing. She's very helpful with all that. And just, just so Catherine, I'm going to put you out. Catherine is a very accomplished athlete on her own, and she actually used Lori as a train as a coach this year. And and I I increased my like right phenomenal yeah. on her own. Wait a second. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
We're going to turn it over now. Well, how about real quick? We can, everybody needs a drink or a snack real quick before Mike starts speaking. He can set up. Yeah, we have a little bit. A few incidents here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Everybody, stretch your legs. Yeah. Have to use the restroom or whatever, and then Mike can set up, and then we're going to turn our meeting over to the Mike Bell. Yeah. Yeah.